Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another incredible episode of Lagos Travel Guide. So guys, I am a huge fan of Airbnbs and I've used the platform to make my accommodation bookings in London, in Montreal, in New York. But I believe that if you're considering or thinking about using Airbnb in Lagos, that there are additional considerations that you need to sort of like factor in or sort of evaluate before you decide whether or not that is the route for you. I get many questions on whether one should book a hotel versus Airbnb, so I believe this video is gonna be so valuable for you. Today's video is going to be on the seven things that you need to consider before deciding whether to book an Airbnb accommodation in Lagos, Nigeria. Location. Where is this Airbnb accommodation located? Is this a location that you're familiar with? Don't go and book, you know, an Airbnb in an area that you have no clue about. Lagos is not a touristy city like New York City, where you know that, you know, the Lower East Side, the Upper West Side, East Village, right? That they're all relatively safe neighborhoods. It's just a matter of personal preference. Security and safety is very important in Lagos. So book where you know best. Areas like Victoria Island, Ikoi, and parts of Lekki, I would feel very comfortable booking an Airbnb. Number two, the second consideration. Is this your first time visiting Lagos? I personally, um, many of you may disagree with me, that I would not advise any first time travelers to Lagos to book an Airbnb. Why? because you're not familiar with the lay of the land, which areas are safest to be in. You may actually stick out like a sore thumb, like a tourist, and that would make you a potential target to nonsense. So I would advise for a first time traveler to stay in a hotel, preferably a chain that you're familiar with. We actually put up a post on the Travel to Ninja Instagram page where we said, you know, if somebody asked a question around traveling to Lagos, should I book an Airbnb and a hotel? And Suzanne Onwalu left this comment. She said, honestly, hotel. Some, Airbnb, some Airbnbs may be good, while some show what they are not. Then safety issues, knowing where you are traveling in from. Best hotel with security and cameras, room service and all. It may be a little expensive, but honestly, it's worth it. So this is something I would advise personally for first time travelers. So she's sort of, I guess, re-emphasizing the points on safety and security for first time travelers. So the third consideration is your budget. Five star hotels in Lagos can be very expensive like four or five stars, a lot of people that visit um, Nigeria for the first time are surprisingly shocked that, uh -uh, why are you guys charging the same level as you would in the West? That is just how it is, my people. Throw in buffet breakfast, room service, mini bar, and forget it. Staying in a hotel in Lagos can be a very, very expensive affair. Airbnbs are great because it allows you, especially if you're a group traveler, to basically split the accommodation costs. It also gives you the opportunity to actually cook your own meals so you don't feel pressured into, you know, ordering expensive room service all the time. So I'm gonna read out a comment that someone um, shared on the post that we talked about earlier. And she shared this, Ife Omori Sola. I visited and stayed at Four Points for 14 days. My trip was to stay for seven days and I paid in advance approximately $1,400. This was before the pandemic. However, due to the dust storms from the Sahara, large flights were unable to take off and land at the airport, resulting in me staying an additional seven days. 
When everything was said and done, I paid approximately $2,500 for 14 days at four points. Next time, I'll book a room for a couple of days and then go out and search for a nice Airbnb to save a lot of money, therefore cheaper. I think this is such a great idea because $2,500 is a lot of money, right? So, you know, if you're, you know, even if you're new in the country, it's your first time, maybe you can just pay exactly pay and pay for like maybe three days in a hotel suss out the area and if you feel comfortable about the area you might even talk to the receptionist the concierge ask them how the neighborhood is you can then transfer to an airbnb nearby right i think that's a smarter way to sort of work around spending money on accommodation in lagos nigeria someone else said nigerian hotels are one of the most expensive and i really don't understand why it's so expensive. Me Lee also commented, I go every other month and I've long since stopped staying at hotels in Lagos. Poor value for a lot of money. I always rent a flat. There's plenty to choose from. Some will cost less, some will cost more, but usually get better value for me. Number four and the fourth consideration in deciding whether I think an Airbnb is good for you or not is are you traveling alone? If you're traveling alone, an Airbnb can be a lonely experience. Compared to staying at a hotel where you can have chats to the staff, to the concierge. Business travelers I know that visit Lagos like to stay in hotels because they can then actually work in the hotel, um, have meetings with clients, you know, have safe meetings where you can bring someone outside into, you know, the lobby or into one of the meeting rooms and feel safe there. So I feel like for business travelers, if they're traveling alone, sometimes it's actually easier for business if they stay in a hotel versus staying in an Airbnb where you won't necessarily want to invite people into your home because it's a business, you know, trip, not a personal trip. So staying in a hotel basically gives you the sort of like the best of both worlds, having your own personal space in your room, but also being able to use the hotel's facilities to conduct business. But I would also say that if you're traveling alone, but you're very familiar with the neighborhood and you don't mind, you know, you don't necessarily care about interacting with people, and Airbnb is a great option for you. Another consideration um, when booking an Airbnb in Lagos is to really read the reviews. What are the reviews that have been given um, for that particular accommodation you're thinking about booking? I have a fast rule about um, booking Airbnbs globally, right? whether it's in Lagos, in New York, it's in London. If there isn't any review, I mean there's zero review on that particular apartment or flat, I never book it because I do not want to be a guinea pig. I don't want to be the one testing it for everybody else. I would advise that you only consider bookings that are four, five stars, and also there have been a review of at least five reviews, right, of the accommodation. Do you guys agree with this point? Some of you guys that have booked Airbnbs, you know, anywhere in the world, for example, do you consider reviews before you book? And do you have like a f particular rating that you would never go down? Like, let me know in the comment section below. Number six, and I would say something to consider before deciding on booking an Airbnb or a hotel in Lagos is, do you value hotel facilities and concierge services? I am the type of traveler that having a gym in proximity of my accommodation is a must have need. It's not a want, it is, I need it. Without it, I am not booking your accommodation. So I'm actually the kind of person that will only book an Airbnb if it's in, for example, a service apartment. If it's in a service apartment where there is a shared gym in the building. Otherwise, I would most likely opt for a hotel that has a gym. Perhaps visiting Lagos, you are interested in someone organizing a trip, um, maybe a tour of Lagos right? A lot of the time, the concierge services at the hotel are able to connect you to the right people to make that happen or even use their own facilities um, to actually make that happen for you, which is something you don't necessarily get in an Airbnb. But I know now that some Airbnb hosts actually go above and beyond to actually help their clients or their customers organize tours in their city. 
So it's really important to consider if you, how much you value all this hotel, you know, serenre. If you don't value it, then it's okay for you to book an Airbnb. Finally, number seven, consideration. Do you like to have people around and host parties? If you do, then Airbnb is most likely the option for you to go for. You can party without any stress, but don't go breaking your host's furniture and whatnot. Before you get hit with a huge bill, don't forget Airbnb has your credit card so they can easily take money <laughs> from your account to pay for the destruction that you've caused in an Airbnb's apartment. So guys, that is the end of my video. I really hope I've really helped you navigate your decision around choosing whether or not to use an Airbnb in Lagos or a hotel. Like both of them have their um, pros and cons, right? But I really hope I've helped sort of like made it and basically opened your eyes to clearly help you decide that, okay, this is the one for me based on my blah, 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 right? Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We're nearly at 50,000 subscribers. Help me make it happen. And if you make it, if you made it to the end of this video, I will love to hear you say, sassy, I made it. Like you made it, like sassy, I made it. Thank you so much again. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.